history often repeats itself. The dragon was slain once more. I wonder if it will repeat again. It seems everything here repeats. Welcome to Dice Geist, a TTRPG podcast. I am Simph, and I use she, her pronouns, and I'm the DM. That's right. Starting now, I'm going to say that I'm the DM, because I've never done it. Uh, yes, you are, and we love that. Uh, hi, I am Jen. I play Wisteria Lissa, and we both use she, her pronouns, and I am not the DM. Hi, I'm Rue. Uh, any pronouns, I'm playing Deoxa, she, her pronouns, and I am the DM. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm not the DM. Hey, uh, I'm Ben. Uh, playing uh, Olin, Ollie, Olin Morovos, whatever you want to call him. Uh, he, him, and I may be the DM. <laughs> Oops, all DMs. <laughs> Oops, all DMs. My brain malfunctioned. <laughs> um, all right, Ben and I were starting. All right, yeah. let's go. Let's DM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start. You know what? You know what? Fuck me and my plot. I, I literally before this started, I was like, guys, I'm having a lot of anxiety and I'm really nervous because I prepped a lot for this session in particular. And you know what? Throw that in the garbage. What happened last session? DMs. Throw it away. We killed what a happened? thing. Many things. You did kill the thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I killed the thing. It was That's me. what happened. We killed the thing. Mm -hmm. We heard its tooth mm -hmm. again. I stabbed another creature in the mouth. Apparently that's your style. <laughs> that's, that's my thing. Shot weird black goo at us, maybe? It was like oil thing burning? I don't know. Yeah, it was real gross. Yeah, yeah. And it made us see like things we cared about, which was not... No, no. It was the return of the dragon. The dragon. Rawr, rawr. <laughs> <laughs> Same time. Uh, yeah, that, that's basically all that happened last session, huh? I was like trying to think. Of <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> we did a combat. It was a good combat. I enjoyed that combat. I'm still getting used to DMing combat, so. Wisteria got real mad and threw fire. She did get real Love mad that. and throw throw the fire. The fire got um, thrown. Yeah, I mean, you guys walked with Universe, the unicorn, who is still with you. Uh, and yeah, you guys are in the wastelands, and you have just defeated this monster. I think, did we literally just cut it off with, like, combat yeah. ending? Yep. Like, okay, yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay, and action. <laughs> oh, wait, sorry, wait, DMs, can I do that? Is that okay <clears throat> if I start? No. Okay. <laughs> Great episode, guys. Okay. No, Good episode. Let's end it here. Oh, one more <laughs> random thing. Just well, uh, today, the day that we're recording is Papa Simp's birthday. Uh, so happy birthday, Papa Simp. Happy birthday, this Papa Simp. Gonna come yeah. Out. Yeah, this is gonna come out way later than his birthday, but he does listen. So hi, oh, Dad. I love ha you. Happy late birthday. <laughs> yeah, happy late birthday. This episode's for you, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Dedicated to Papa Simp. <laughs> the, the episode where I don't DM. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for real. An action. Okay, we're in the scene. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> we just finished combat. Wisteria was badass. Damn right. <laughs> what are we doing? Seriously. Weren't we heading to the creepy doll thing? Yes, but why? To get the card. Right? Am I right? Am I remembering right? And how, how are we going to get that card? I don't know. I, I, can't, I can't imagine whoever this toy maker is would give it up willingly. Right? So, we're going... Like, this is his home. Really. That does seem to be the plan. So I say we just move along. 
And you're you're fine. You're fine with that. You're fine with taking away some random person's home. For the sake of our future. Yes. Well, my future may not even be back where I came from. I have a husband out there. And that's wonderful for you. I have people out there that I need to get back to as well. That is where my future is, and I will not be kept from it. And you're completely fine with killing random innocent people to do it? Innocent is quite the assumption that you are making. Well, yes, but I mean, innocent till proven otherwise. But every, from what I've heard, every other person here was taken from their worlds like us, and put here and was made an offer to either stay or take cards from people and they obviously chose the non-violent answer I, they seem like good people I don't because otherwise they would just kill the others and go home right? am I missing something? I don't think it's that simple I think they chose a deal whether to have a card or death well, that wasn't our deal. It's it's to go take cards, right? Well, haven't there, there been other lots heroes? Of... Yeah, I was gonna not. say, weren't there other heroes that have been killed trying to get home? We don't know if they've been killed because we were off. It's we have the same deal as those that were given to them. They might have been former heroes that took the deal. But we also don't mm. know that. We have to. We would have had to ask. I didn't think to ask Exactly, we're going off to fight and kill someone without knowing any of this. We never said we were going to fight and kill them. We said we're getting the card. And how are we going to get the card if... Because, obviously, one of the most agreeable people that I know, Doe, was not willing to give up their card. Think they're going to give up their card for us? But Doe also forgot us overnight. I mean, there's lots of ways to take things from people when they don't want you to take them from them. I'm sorry, I'm just having a really hard time justifying taking someone's home and livelihood from them. For maybe a potential chance of getting back to a home I might, need, might not even want to go back to. And that is your decision, but mine is to move forwards. Now you can either be with me, or be against. Either way, I am moving on. We could also just try talking to the doll person. Like, we're making, we're jumping a lot of steps between potentially getting a card and whatnot. We're, like, jumping super far ahead here. We don't even know if they can be talked into giving us the card. We haven't even tried. We don't even know if we could just steal the card without harming them. We haven't even tried. I find it just very unlikely that they'd give up their home for strangers. And then that's what the other options are for, like stealing. It's not an ass, but... I'm just saying, we don't have to jump straight to kill him if there's other ways to get him. Uh, but we might not. They might. In fact, I think it's very likely that they try to kill us for taking their home from them. I mean, that's if they catch us from stealing. And if they try to do that, I will protect myself. <laughs> protect yourself? No, no, you can't say that. You're taking I someone's home from them. I like. You're not protecting yourself. You're justifying killing someone to get back home. That is all the justification I need. Well... While they argue, I'm gonna walk over to, uh, Universe and motion her down. Okay. Hey, Universe, are the people that have the card ex-heroes too? Or are, like, they bad people? You would know. You said you know lots of stuff. She turns her head towards you, and she looks a little different from when combat started. Feeling all right, hon? And she sort of just blinks. And one eye becomes entirely white, and she goes, just fine. <laughs> you sure? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, well, what can you tell me about people with the car? What do you want to know? Are they stuck here like us? Were they people that were stuck here like us? Were they bad people? Are they, like, what, what's, give me the load out on them. Does it really matter? There's a split decision within our little troop here, so I'm just trying to get as much information about these other people as possible. It depends on who you're talking to. I think some people make deals, and sometimes they're really, really good deals, and sometimes they're chosen when they're good enough. Okay. 
the doll one? Is that this doll person? Is this like I don't know. I feel like I'm just gonna think for a second, so I'll cut back to you guys. Now you are being no more than a common bandit. Dare I even say it? Pirate, thief, whatever you want to call it. You are stealing from someone else for your own personal gain, rather than maybe trying to think of some other solution. I don't see any other solution. You haven't even tried. And yet you jump to the assumption of killing first. Well, yes, when someone's trying to steal your livelihood, that's generally what happens. I should know I kind of hunt pirates for a living. Ah, so he hunts pirates and is married to a mysterious person that he doesn't even know. <laughs> Such a wonderful life you live. I mean, I assume I knew them at one point, and I'd love to get them to know them again. Again, are you sure? I'm sorry, what? Are you sure? Of what? That I want to get to know them again? Yes. That you knew them? Uh, I would assume so, otherwise I wouldn't have gotten married to them. Hmm. Anyways, that's not really the point of discussion. The point is, we could have a life here, and we've completely ignored I that option. I do not want a life here. I have one, and I will be returning to it. I have left them alone long enough. Also, um, I'm gonna interject. <clears throat> if we wanted a laugh here, I, we don't even know how to make, like, right now, we'd be stuck, what, here? In the stinky place? No, we, we could go back to Doe, who we, again, abandoned when they were struggling. They have their dad. Their dad was gonna be way more helpful than we ever were. And they seem to be losing their memories every day. I did... Do you want them to stress them out every single day like we did this morning, when they didn't recognize us? I wasn't aware it was every single day. Well, we don't know it's not. Again, that's another... You keep talking about assumptions, that's another assumption you're making. Based on Harth and how that interaction went that morning, it's at least a common occurrence. Because he recognized immediately and went over to calm Doe down and had a conversation as soon as we said he forgot, they forgot us. Well, so it's, it's a common occurrence and it's not getting any better. We could try it with exactly. the dad there. We, yeah, so we could try and help. How? I don't. And how do you suggest we do that? I don't know. We didn't even try. I don't have any kind of magic that can mess with people's memories like that, and I, I, we wouldn't even know what's wrong. We don't even know if it's possible to fix that. You'd think if if it was possible to fix, you'd think Harth would have done it a long time ago. It, again, maybe, but we didn't try. Messing with one's memories through magic is a dangerous and delicate procedure. I would not be comfortable in my current state even attempting such a thing. <sighs> So are we all we all done? Can we go now? I would love to. I should just start walking towards her. <laughs> towards the unicorn. Great, okay. And Universe starts trotting along. And they give <clears throat> Ollie like a little comforting pat. No no no, not in the mood for that right now. Alright, well, the only way we can go is forward, because the only way to figure stuff out is to figure them out, you know? Sure. Why not? You seem disappointed, Ollie. I just thought better of the people I was traveling with. Well, we can't... Ollie, we can't even try talking to this person without going to this person. You see what I mean? Like, it's, it's another assumption that we're gonna get there and they're not gonna be willing to help us. We could have made the same assumption about Doe. But we talked to Doe. We spent time with them. And now we know. It's... But we didn't know about the whole process before going to Doe. We weren't after Doe's card when we went to Doe. But when we knew, we still had to have that conversation. We had that whole big thing with Harith, remember? Talking about going to the others, seeing what was up. Like, that's still gonna have to be part of the conversation, whether we lack it or not. So are we going to do that with every- we're gonna make a deal with every single person then? Seems like that's going to be the best option. Again, we don't know if we don't try. Like you said, it's all assumption. Can't move forward by standing in place. My daddy always told me that. I just think we're heading in the wrong direction. What direction do you think we should go? Preferably, I would like to go back to 
doze and figure more of this out before going off half cocked. And Universe is still while walking forward. Uh, she's been kind of trotting in front of you guys. Her head just turns 180 degrees to look back at you as she continues trotting forward, and she just goes, Are you sure that they even want to see you? Yeah, I don't think going back to Doe is the best idea. I have idea. no idea. But if we go back and they don't want to see us, then fair is fair. But that doesn't change anything. We'd be right back, standing right here, having this... It would at least ease my mind a little. We can do whatever, but I personally don't think going back to Doe is a great idea right now. We made a deal with Hara. We stressed Doe out this morning. I think we need to give him a little time. Sure. So onward then? The floors are backwards. You guys choose. Do you want to try talking to the spooky doll? I mean, honestly, I don't think she'll she'll do much talking. That's not really her style. She might know sign language, right? If she's well, if she has, cause if, if she's a doll, she won't really do any talking. She might know. Well, no, because it's from different universes. My sign language is going to be totally different. I didn't think that one through. Hmm. <laughs> not really that. She just likes fixing things. Hmm. That's super ominous and scary. Those words you just said right now. Is it? Well, considering I don't got nothing broken on me, um, I can't imagine what she would be fixing. I think that helping others and fixing things is the ultimate friendship. Um, and you start to see a shadow kind of slither out of Universe's mouth. Oh no. <laughs> Well, personally, I don't think we're going to figure anything out by standing around. So what if, let's back or forth, I genuinely, whichever, kind of looks between the two of you. Sure, let's, why not? You know, let's, sure. Well, things turn bad, we just leave. We, like, we just leave our place, you know? How about, does that mm -hmm. sound fair? Okay. I want to make it so clear that once you go in, you can't go out until you get the card. We oh, were able wonderful. To just, we were able to just walk right out of Doe's place, since when is that a rule? Well, that's... That's because they let you. Well, maybe... They let you do things. I thought that they were going to kill you. Well, we did scare them, and then they tried, but, like, Harth was... It, it, there's a whole story. You were there, you saw. I guess you're right about that. Right, so... We go in, we can't leave until we get the card. Mm hmm. Great. This is just seeming like more and more reasons to just head back and try and figure more things out and talk things over. I mean this in the nicest way possible. You are so fucking dense that I don't think you'll figure out what's going on with Doe. Me? Probably. Not. I'm not all that intelligent. But the other two, I... I mean, you don't even seem to really understand what's happening right now. That is entirely correct. Which is why I would love to, you know, not rush out. And, you know, try and understand. I am completely out of my depth here. I have no idea what I'm doing, what any of this is. And, you know, it's just... It'd be nice if we thought about it a li bit a li little bit longer. Sure, let's wait here and wait for something else to come. That is why I said to go back to Doe's, but... I get... You don't have to listen to me, but again, I get the sense we going back to Doe's is not the best idea right now. I know it's it would be the safer option. <clears throat> but I just get the sense. I'm just... With the way things were left, I mean, where they were at mentally, I just don't think we would do them any good going back. It'd be good for us, I don't think it'd be good for them. And can I ask a, a moral question, Ollie? Sure. How many people do you have to kill before you become a bad person? Uh, I don't think it's <laughs> about the number of people as to why you kill people. Hmm. Interesting. I tend to disagree, but... Oh, okay, so... How many in your eyes, then? I don't think there's... It's... That's one of those things that's complicated. Well, you asked me, so I assumed you had an answer. It's more of a generalization. 
I think there's a limit to how much good you can do without looking at yourself and saying, hmm, maybe I'm just a murderer too. Because at the end of the day, these people are still murdering every person that comes here that just wants to go home. Well, it's either that or they lose their home. I, again, I still don't understand. So then, let me put it this way. Let's say I was married, right? Yes. Let's say, let's say I got married and I'd had my little, and I had a little family, right? And I was supposed to be taking over the business. Just like the whole, that's the whole intention of what I was doing. I was traveling, I was learning, I was making business deals. I was meeting fellow people that could be potential partners, all that stuff. Let's say that I already met someone and I had a family. And my father was on his deathbed and I was supposed to be taking the business. Would I be justified trying to get home to him? Or should I just say, fuck my family, fuck my kids, fuck my dying father, fuck the family business, because I don't want to hurt nobody. Even if those people had murdered others for their own justification, which we will never know, mind you. We will never know the reason. We can't know, especially because I doubt they'll tell us. So am I justified? Or should I just accept fate and forget about all the things I care about? What if your husband wasn't here? What if he was out there back home? Would you be justified trying to get back to him? I would go with the third option, trying to get back, but not killing all these people, trying to find an alternative. Do you? We asked about that, remember? The only way to get out is to get the cards. That's what we were told by multiple people. The 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 person in the, the throne, Doe, when they had their memories, and Horus. You think? Do you think absolutely nobody has tried to think of another way out of this place? Absolutely nobody. I'm maybe. Really. Yeah. Because I doubt that. <laughs> I heavily, heavily doubt that not a single person has tried to get out of here. Well, so far, you guys aren't, and you're taking everything at face value, so maybe that's the assumption that everyone else went with. I really doubt that. Especially because it seems like there's been multiple groups. Groups of people. Somebody had to question it at some point. And they've all not succeeded. You see what I mean? Like, and again, going back to my point, do we don't at what point are you a murderer for the right reasons is there a distinction there in your mind a murderer for the right well the thing is a person doing it for the right reasons wouldn't be a murderer oh no you're murdering people no i wouldn't say so that's what you gotta tell yourself ollie when you take someone's life that's murder that's the definition of murder not by my rules but okay not where i am from but you know, you do you, I guess. Sounds like a real intense place to live, then, if murder ain't murder. No, murder is murder, but, you know, what I do isn't. Alright. Shall we? Uh, Ollie is just going to walk, I guess. Okay, cool. Universe kind of cranks her head back around to the front, uh, and there's sort of like a weird crack as she does, and she continues to trot along. Um, whereas before her behavior was kind of like preppy and prancy and singy, and she was like picking up Nim, uh, she's sort of just walking forward with a weird gait. Hmm. Don't, don't. Pull up my notes, don't mind <laughs> me. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> uh, Jesus. Like, I don't know what to say! <laughs> I'm just like, would Wisteria <laughs> say anything? Fuck no! <laughs> She's just she's just walking and listening, trying to hide her emotions. <laughs> cool, yeah. I kind of want like, if you don't mind, not to like ruin the immersion, yeah. but like, what is out of character? Would you guys mind explaining the kind of like feelings that your character is having right now without getting into like secrets? If you want to keep those. <laughs> Like, how is Wisteria feeling through all of that? Because it was kind of a lot of B and Ollie going back and forth about murder. And... About murder and family. And there was a lot going through Wisteria's mind. Um, as she 
was walking and listening. She has this constant fierce determination to move forwards and to get back to where she came from. But when B was going into such detail about hypotheticals and all the potentials, there I don't know if your characters would have seen it, because she was probably facing the other way, but she had like a very deep sadness. Say, which it only fueled a body reaction her determination for me to have picked up on it at all. Mm -hmm. Just the passive perception. It was pro. It. You know what? You know what? When you said when you said something about family and having kids, that's probably a a slight stutter in mysterious steps, but very quickly covered up and continued walking forwards, like a a, a tightening of a grip. Could my could my twenty passive perception have caught that little stutter in the step? Oh yeah, uh, totally. I don't have the good grip insight, but staff, I have good perception. That type of things. <laughs> good perception. I perceive things with my goblin eyes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your goblin eyes. Now, Wisteria is going through the motions right now, um, but very, very controlled, hiding it, almost yeah. as if practiced. Hmm. Yeah, B is just in the same, it's the same headspace she was just in, which is just like trying to figure out how to explain that justification for killing someone kind of is, it, it's complicated. And in this moment, there's that same justification from a different angle, and she doesn't know how to really express that. I also think she might be the most neutral in the party, but that's just me. <laughs> She's true neutral, by the way. <laughs> true neutral. <laughs> like, what did I put as Wisteria's... Um, what's her alignment? Oh, I know. Yeah, what are, I, was, I, was, I assume Ollie is awful neutral for Ollie? Is the vibe I got? I oh. might be wrong. No. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> awful something is my... Uh, um... <laughs> but. No, alignments don't really work for Wisteria. She's sort of. It's more just like the vague. She's not neutral. Yeah. I I yeah. I mean, I normally don't play characters towards alignments. I more of just do vibes, personality. So I I get that where it's hard to like put a character under an alignment when you're really thinking about them as a person. Characters are always going to be more complicated than an alignment, but like generalizations, B is probably the closest to true neutral. Hmm. But if I, I mean, had to go with Wisteria is not Yeah, Wisteria is not lawful, neither is she chaotic. Um I think she teeters on neutral kind of depending on what is her focus. So, huh, we'll see how things go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just that like she's trying that, That's to, her alignment. Uh. Her whole like the it's not really an overly emotional state. Like she's not He's weird. It's fine. It, there's no like strong emotion one way or the other. It's more the like, okay, I don't know how to phrase what I'm trying to get at in a very clear and concise way. How do I phrase it's something me. that is a concept? Is <laughs> basically her thought process. That's mm -hmm. where she's at. It's just like, how do I phrase something that's more conceptual? <laughs> like, I don't know how to phrase this <laughs> in a way that isn't just like metaphor. So that's more where she's <laughs> metaphor. at. Metaphor. <laughs> It's concept. Well, see, justification and murder and doing this mm -hmm. and that, how different people perceive stuff. It's real hard to explain that kind of stuff. Like, that's more where she's at. <laughs> it's like, I don't know how to phrase what I want to say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's it's safe to say everyone's having their, their self-reflection time of walking in absolute silence then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> self-reflecting, oh no. <laughs> Wisteria <laughs> is keeping a, a close eye on uh, universe, because... That's that, that's weird. The universe being being weird right now. <laughs> Whatever do you mean? I don't know. It's just it's just a little weird. The very friendly unicorn now suddenly turning into a nightmare. Um Yeah, scary. Just keeping an eye. <laughs> Waiting until the moment where action is required, not uh not jumping the gun, so to say. So yeah, all of you are continuing down and 
silent uh, down the wastelands. Um, it seems as your emotions get more heightened, actually, it, it seems like the smell around you guys just gets progressively worse. And the physical discomfort that you guys feel from the environment of, like, I, I have no better word for it other than just constantly feeling overstimulated and, like, in a half-dissociated state. Um, where it's just, like, nothing feels or smells or looks quite right in this zone. And it seems to, like, intensify as your emotions and your arguments heighten and continue. And when you guys quiet down, the feeling sort of goes away bit by bit. Um, but there's still the ever-present background of just full discomfort. And finally, you guys arrive and see a dollhouse just in the wastelands. It's pretty quaint and cute, made of a, like, white wood. Um, there's windows that you can't really see inside. There's little light decorations, like fairy lights around the windowsills. The roof is, like, a cotton candy, like, bubblegum pink. And there's, like, the sound of a music box that kind of cranks through the wastelands uh, that you didn't hear before. What type of song is it playing? I instantly... <laughs> Here's where my brain went. <laughs> it went Rick Roll, Weezer, Barbie, Weezer, Rick Roll, Barbie, Weezer. My brain immediately, my brain immediately went Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I do love Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh my gosh. What is that song called? It's actually, it's, it's an orchestral excerpt that they use. Um, I, I just, I can't remember in the moment. It's playing that though. Uh, okay, just in a music okay. box form starting now actually more accurate would be like do you know those like wind up animals that would play like a lullaby when you cranked their yes. back yeah that that energy is coming uh, from the dollhouse in amazing. front of you I hate it. <laughs> not spooky at all but he, it's so nice it's pink and has fairy lights mm -hmm, mm -hmm. suspicious <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Universe just kind of looks at you guys. She'll crank her head again. I guess we're going in. Oh, I'm not going in. Well, no, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to the, uh, our little crew here. Are we going in, or...? I just want to make sure you're all aware that if we go in, we're not coming out unless they let us out, or we have that card. I am aware. Which could mean killing them. Yes. And... B, you're okay with becoming a so-called bad person, then. Oh, I never said I was a good person, huh? Mm-hmm. Now, I ain't murdered nobody, but, like... But you're about to. Maybe. Maybe. That's the whole thing. Maybe. And are you ready for that? Are you ready to take someone's life? That's something you might have to do right now. I'm ready to not be dead. Right. Mm-hmm. Sure, let's invade their house. Why not? Let's see where this goes. Take care, universe. Bye. Perhaps find a group that uh, likes each other a bit more. I'm sorry, is, you, is universe leaving? Yes. I thought you were supposed to be our guide. Well, I guided you here. And you're not going to guide us back? I'll wait for you. Thank you. See? But also, if you need to go rest, you can just meet us back here. Also, I don't know what you guys are talking about. I like both of you plenty. I think you're both great. Well, I like you, but... Well... <laughs> Damn! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was... I've been trying really hard as a DM, like, while you guys are talking, not to go like... <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> e ah! <laughs> that one got me! I like you! Like, okay, ma'am. <laughs> <Ooh>, sorry. <laughs> B has a turn... Well, Wisteria has our own... Bitter emotions for her own reasons before these conversations began. Anyway, so <laughs> it's like my own so it is, right here. and you it know drama. And, and you know the subtext, so it's even better. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry to have to roll like I love that so much. <laughs> I am a little tapped, though. Perhaps it'd be a good idea to have a rest before we go in. Oh yeah, you want to have a rest here. 
Well, somewhere. Either in before we. It's almost approach. like we could have headed back to Doe's place. Oh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> and then fought something else along the way and then lost the same spells that I lost on the way here. <laughs> Great I, idea. Thank you. Uh, universe, I got a question, right? Anybody that's got a card can have like a, uh, their own space, right? That was the whole thing? Yes. We've got cards. Can we just make like a little space for us right now? Because then we'd let it. I mean, how about this? I'll make us a little space. So you two are being all sketchy with each other. Can I make a little space for us to rest with my card? Like, you can't actually. Well, why not? I thought it was. So like... we'd need to make a deal, right? Yes, there you go. You're being smart. I, I love that for you. Frustrating. I thought we could just use the cat card and black whole thing. And I was going to make a space. I don't trust neither of you to not trap each other in a spot, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I mean, I can make a small space. It's not very. It's rather crude. But it's something. I think as long as we can get a quick little shut eye, we'd be fine. All right, give me eleven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you? What do you do? Tidy up, baby. We love Tiny Hut. What does Tiny Hut do? <laughs> uh -huh. Tiny Hut, third level evocation. <laughs> A 10-foot radius immobile dome of force springs into existence around and above you and remains stationary for the duration. The spell ends if you leave its area. Nine creatures of medium size or smaller can fit inside the dome with you. The spell fails if its area includes a larger creature or more than nine creatures. Blah, 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 blah. Other shit. More important things. Um, spells and other magical effects can't extend through the dome or be cast through it. The atmosphere inspired is comfortable and dry. Um, and I can make it light or dark, and the dome is opaque from the outside and any colour I would like. You can see through from the inside, right? Yes. And only creatures that you allow can pass through. Yes. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll let you in. <laughs> no, just... That would I'm, be no, so I'm, I'm just clarifying, so there's no shadow monsters that appear in the tent. No, 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 Shadow Moss is not going to appear at the fair. That's why B was going to make the space, because she didn't trust either of you to not let the other person out of your space if you made it. So, <laughs> like... Okay, I guess you do it. <laughs> <laughs> How long does it take to cast? 11 minutes. If I do it as a ritual. Okay, cool. All right. Slay. <laughs> I mean, I guess if we're getting a long rest in it, I could just, like, cast it normally. Okay. You you do that. Good job. I do the thing. <laughs> I, I do the wizard thing yeah. of the tiny hut. I don't. I don't really know what else to say. Tiny hut. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Are Ollie and B doing anything? Well, join me in the hut. Just keeping watch, I guess. Making sure nothing's coming out of the house or towards the house. Okay. Cool. The universe might trot over to Ollie and try to pull him aside. Yeah. Sure. If he's cool with that. All right, cool. <laughs> okay. Chrissy's just sip tea listening to the conversation. I, 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 I don't know why I expected you to fight that for some weird reason. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, she'll pull you. She'll pull you out of earshot of the others, and I guess she'll pull you behind the pink house. Um, I would like to stay in view of the others, if that's okay. Are you sure? Well, I don't exactly want them becoming shadow monster food, so. You're so picky. Okay. <laughs> she'll pull you <laughs> she'll pull you out of earshot in range where you can still hear them. Okay. Well see them, you mean. Yeah. It's really yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can speak English. I just want you all to know. I was literally talking to my dad today about how I was like, I don't understand how I have a podcast, but I literally cannot speak words ever. <laughs> Oh, no idea. Um, so yeah, she'll pull you out of earshot. Yes. In eyeshot. Yes. <laughs> Slay. <laughs> we did it, guys. <laughs> the eyeshot is definitely a word. Episode <laughs> done. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I that would be that would be wild if I had did it there. No. Um. And she'll just go. All right. So then you're going to make a deal. Then is that what this is? Uh, honestly, I'm seriously considering it. All right. What do you want in your deal, then? Um, 
I've again I need more time to consider, but it, what are the limits and what what can I include in the deal? Hmm. No limits, but think carefully about your words. Ah. I might have to get back to you then, because I take a long time to think things through. There's that whole tr- mm-hmm. rant that I had. That was something I had cooking up since last night, so. Give me a bit. I'll get back to you when I'm ready. You prepare your theatrics. <laughs> I prepare my words. And my thoughts. Because I'm not the best thinker there is, but I Well, want... that was obvious, yes. Yes, yes thank I you. I read that for... about you. Oh, you, you read that about me? Yes. I have a biography. This is what I meant. Can, can I see it, perhaps? What? What? what... I'm now. I'm suddenly self-conscious. I. I love him. What? 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 What do they, what do they say about me? <laughs> Stop! You're making me laugh. I need a little bit. <laughs> I'm like trying to stay in character. <laughs> Give the hair push back. <laughs> okay, getting back uh, is into. The... Crew of the salty basilisk in there. The battle of the bloody cavern. Uh, Can you even read? Ah, uh, when I try hard enough. All right. Well, it's going to take you a long time to read okay. your book. Then now back to the deal. Are you making it? Yes or no? Ah, uh, come back to me tomorrow. Great. Universe <laughs> collapses. Oh. Ah. Uh, um. I'm just going to walk out. <laughs> but walk back. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> I, I have no idea. She just, she right? just suddenly collapsed. What happened? I, I have no idea. Is she a rat? We were just talking. She just wanted to check in, make sure I things were okay I with me, and might have a little bit then of just healing left. fell over. Do you have any healing left? I mean, I can certainly, I can certainly try. Uh, gonna cast uh, Lay on Hands for one point. She's she's good HP yeah, wise. Okay. <laughs> Out of character, we don't okay. know that. I just want to let you know that if if you do that and like someone's healed, I'm not gonna like take away Got your it. lay on hands point. It just won't transfer. No, I have second. Never mind. I can't heal anybody but myself. Never mind. <laughs> I'm a wizard. I don't have healing spells. Also, I can't leave the hut, so I'm yelling. <laughs> 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 if I leave the hut, it disappears. I I do believe. Is this something unicorns do? I don't know. Uh, I, I don't I, think so. I, I, uni- like I said, it could be, I don't know, uni- uh, unicorns are extinct in where I'm from. So, I don't know. Maybe. They certainly all collapsed what did you where s- I'm from. What did you say before she collapsed? Uh, I just said, yes, I'm doing quite fine, thank you. How are you doing? And then she collapsed. Mm. Words seem to have a strong influence in this place perhaps that it is a, a physical manifestation of how she feels well then i feel very sorry for her and wish i paid more attention perhaps well i'm going to take a nap and i will be fine in four hours you are welcome to join in the hut i, I take a little longer than that i'm just gonna and i just curl up into a little ball like a cat, circle and like just move around, pick the best spot, curl into a ball and fall asleep. I'm realizing oh, B is Mysteria. a bit, B is the opposite of me. She's very much an easy sleeper. <laughs> I'm giving her Mysteria slash me, uh, uh, withholding the urge to just scoop you up and put you in my lap. <laughs> the funny thing is, oh. B would not complain. <laughs> B would be so fine. Ah. <laughs> Now, Wisteria is too, too stubborn to give in to doing that. Uh, I'll take first watch. I'll uh, watch for around two hours. I'll wake you up, B, and then the rest, I suppose, uh, Wisteria can take care of. Will do. Well, see, she was awake long enough to hear that, and then she curled up into a little ball and fell asleep. <laughs> Lord of babies. <laughs> Okay. A little goblin girl. Um, I love her so much. She's just a little goblin. <laughs> are, are you, my question is, are you guys bringing Universe into the hut? Can we? Is Universe a large creature? Uh, no, 
I'm let me look it up because I'm pretty sure I mean she's a unicorn like she's the size of a horse and I think a horse counts as medium no? I think horse is large no universe let her in the hut <laughs> yeah. hey, hey, hey do hey, do you will you, will you, cool will you say that a large creature can get <laughs> a you yeah a universe a universe can to go in universe shrunk as she collapsed I, from... that, that's so crazy because i'm reading the spell right now and it says the oh, unicorn yeah, no, no, can yeah, go here, the, into the, 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 oh, the unicorn oh, is a pony yeah. unicorn is a pony oh yeah, so it's medium yeah, size yeah. <laughs> to be fair as a fellow dm it's up to nine medium creatures there's there's yeah there's that's why i'm like regular medium creature size and one very small medium creature in this hut we can fit a horse i promise <laughs> like, yeah we'll get a, a we'll get a DM, horse in. i feel like we have six medium creature space left i i bang my fist on the table horses belong i in have the a hut. strength of six <laughs> i cannot help drag this horse in and i have to stay in the hut or it will disappear so <laughs> and yeah i'll, I'll Ollie. bring in yeah okay I'll... Okay, dragging cool. The horse. <laughs> I'm dragging the horse. <laughs> I'm bringing it to the hut. Sorry, sorry. Can we? I feel like end of episode. I drag in the horse. Dun dun. No, <laughs> no, no. This is not the end of the episode. It <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm gonna cut out quite a bit, so we're <laughs> good to keep going a little nice. longer. Um, I'd at least like to get to a description of you guys going okay, well, inside. We're, ta- we're taking so... a long rest, DM. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, that would be yeah. a fun cliffhanger. <laughs> does it? Yeah. Does the long <laughs> rest go without issue? Yeah, yeah. Each of you are able to take a long rest. What was the watch order again? Ollie, Wiz, B. Yeah. Yes. Wiz? Okay. That happens on Wiss's watch. Mm-hmm. You see, like, a grung kind of, like, hopping towards... For those who don't know what a grung is, they're, like, the little... The cute little, like, frog creatures. I love them. They're so cute. Um, kind of start hopping towards you guys. And they sort of tilt their head and knock on the hut. If they could do that, can they do that? I knock mean, on the hut? Like sure. a door? They, they can't enter. Why okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I know they can't enter, but can they knock? Yeah, sure. They can knock on the hut. Starting now, they, they can. can knock on the hut. Uh, so they'll 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 knock on the door while you're. Yes. <laughs> what do you want, little frog creature? I have mail. Mail? For who? They point to the unicorn. Ah, all right. Um, no, they, they can't will... see inside the dome. No, they can't. No, <laughs> they can't. You can just hear disembodied voices. <laughs> I have mail. Like, I have mail. This universe. is where my instincts are. <laughs> I thought that they could. on the outside. <laughs> There's no reason yeah. I thought they could. Okay. Uh, d- yeah, so they won't. <laughs> you know what? No, this is very funny. Um, no, so they'll somehow knock on the hut, be like, I have mail. And then you're like, for who? And they they point, but they're not pointing at anything. Because <laughs> okay, they can't see. There are see. four people in this hut. A unicorn. Yes, that and- one. Ah, uh, we'll go with that then. Um, sure, hand it to me and I will give it to them. And I pop my hand out of the hut. <laughs> they give you a piece of paper that's a little sticky. Oh, great, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. This is disgusting. <laughs> Does it say, like, is it in an envelope? Yes, it is. It. <laughs> May our paths meet again. Sure. I want to know what it says, but I don't want. I bet you I don't do. want to invoke the wrath of the unicorn. Did Wisteria read it? Uh, it's in an envelope. Can I make? Can I make a uh, a, like a just a straight wisdom check to see if Wisteria would just not care and read the letter? I mean, I guess so. And I don't know how to RP this, so I'm gonna let the dice decide. Because there are two extremes that could go to. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we read in this letter. Okay, okay, sure, yeah. <laughs> that, that would Open be a solid letter. six. So, we reading the letter. Okay, cool. Mysteria has learned nothing about her curiosity. <laughs> Alright, so I guess the, the Grung just it, it kind of nods and hops away. Um... And you open this letter, um, and I die immediately. And, 
<laughs> you die. You explode. <laughs> and everyone oh, explodes. Man. Uh, no, 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 no. This letter just says... Dear Ollie, I would like to clarify before we begin that this letter is being written on my behalf. I have not learned to read or write since you left. Um... I'm, I'm surprised to hear from you, though. Uh, for a second, I thought you died. It would be great for us to meet again, but I'm not sure how to describe where I am, and truthfully, I can't really disclose where I am. Uh, and I don't want someone writing my private thoughts for me, uh, so I hope we can see each other again. Uh, signed, Blue. Oh. Interesting. Very interesting. How are you sealing this letter back up? <laughs> Hmm. There are many things I wish to do with this letter right now. Do you want to know my first instinct? Hmm. Do you want to know with the um impulsive anger that um Wisteria is feeling towards Ollie right now? Mm hmm She burns the letter. Dice Guys is a TTRPG podcast with Simp as the DM, Ben as Ollie. Rue as B, and Jen as Wisteria Lissa. The intro was done by the underscore mad underscore duck on SoundCloud, and the rest of the music is in the episode description. Want to follow us on social media? That's great! Check out the description for our Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Thank you so much for listening, and have some happy adventures! Yippee! Yippee! That was a lot more in sync. Okay, I'll do it. I'm gonna make a note. Second. Second yippee. Yippee. My okay. excuse was just the cough. <clears throat> Drink water. And then I go. You start the intro. Yep, and I was gonna do it, and then you started talking. <laughs> and then I get psyched out, and then I don't want to do it. Do it. All car car. Oh. Sorry, I lost my accent. Are you okay? Jesus Christ! She's dying. No, I died on the verge trying to do this country accent on the verge. Car no. just killed me for a second. I don't know what just happened. I was just trying to say the word card, and it was really bad. Anyway, okay, hold on. <laughs> we take a sip of water and reset. I'm, I'm putting this clip at the end of the episode, just. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one. This is the chosen one. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, yeah, reset her. I'm, I'm reset. Just start when you're ready. No, I choked. <laughs> mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. <laughs>